After you've completed configuring G Suite in anticipation of performing a fly migration for Gmail to Office 365 Exchange Online or from G Suite into Office 365, the next thing you'll want to do is to go into Fly and set up your G Suite connections. In order to do this, you're going to need your G Suite domain, you're going to need the admin account for G Suite, the service account that you want to use during the migration, and that service account's secret key. When you created the service account in G Suite, you could have created the secret key at the same time and then downloaded the key file. If you're not sure where that is, it should as a default be located in your Windows download directory. So if you pop in there and just look for a JSON file, double click it, that will be the file that you're looking for. If you don't know where that is, or you haven't created the key for the service account, you can do that at this point. If that's the case, then you will either still need to configure some additional settings in G Suite or reconfigure some near the end of this process. So please consult your Fly user guide and search for G Suite in order to verify that everything in G Suite is ready to go. Assuming it is, I now go into Fly, into the Connection Manager, and with G Suite selected at the top, we click Add. As mentioned, I need my G Suite domain, my admin and my service account, and then the service account's private key. Both the service account and the private key can be found in that JSON file. After you've filled in the domain, the admin, and the service account, special note on the private key. When copying this out of this file, please be sure to include all of the dashes around begin private key and end private key. You do not need to include the quotes. Select it, copy it, go back over into fly and paste. The last setting down towards the bottom is if you want to select an agent for the migration, the agent will be installed on one of your machines and is essentially the workhorse in the migration. I've got Fly set up here in a simple install, which means it's all loaded on my surface. So I would just simply select that. And then with everything filled in, I'm ready to click Add. Please note that you cannot load two different connections with the same information. So since I've got the same private key here, I'm just going to close and we already have a connection in place. At any time, if you would like to change things like the admin or the service account, you can do that by clicking the edit button under action. If you change the service account to something different, well, there will be a new private key required for that new service account. So that's why this box is empty. You would change it, put in the new private key, and then down at the bottom, click on update. And that's it. You're now ready to use this connection in order to do Gmail to Exchange Online migrations or G Drive into Office 365 migrations. Thanks for watching this short video on setting up a G Suite connection in Fly.